Africa for quite some time now. The oil-rich country is emerging from the economic depths created by its costly civil war, and now it's looking to trade for salvation. Some are calling it the country of the future. For trade, Angola is looking to the largest economy on the continent, South Africa. President Jacob Zuma visited Angola last year. So what is the future? Now, Roger Ballard Tramier, the Honorable Chief Executive of the South Africa Angola Chamber of Commerce, is in Angola for an investment and power forum and now joins us on the line live from Luanda. Roger, good afternoon. How much interest is there in South Africa investing in Angola? Uh, Chris, uh, thank you. Thank you for the greetings. Um, uh, indeed, the, the audience here goes beyond just South Africans. We've got people from Chile and the United Kingdom and other places, uh, many SADC countries uh, beyond South Africa as well. And I have to say the interest level is extremely high. We have more than 100 people in this conference. We've had some interesting presentations this morning. Now, there's a lot of interest. I mean, South African SAB Miller um, put in 125 million US dollars into a new brewery and soft drinks plant in Angola only last year. How many more countries and in which sectors do you think there is going to be investment from the rest of Africa and rest around the world? Uh, there, uh, uh, probably the most interesting sector, uh, there, well, perhaps there are two of them. The one is the industrial development sector where Angola is looking at, uh, at, at converting the, the slogan made in Angola into reality. That's already started with several South African companies involved in various, in various projects. And, um, and the, mining, the mining code uh, is, in, is, is very close to being uh, enacted by Parliament and the President, and that should uh, trigger a lot of mining activity. Now, I've seen the adverts, and um, a lot of it sounds almost too good to be true. What difficulties are there still in doing business with Angola? There's no doubt uh, that for the time being, Angola is an ultra-challenging market. We have seen several South African companies bump their heads against uh, the Angolan circumstance. Uh, you really need to have your act together, uh, and, and by that I mean have the necessary expertise at non-executive director and board level uh, if you want to be successful in Angola. There's been also a lot of reports last year about uh, Angolan companies not honouring contracts with South Africans. There's some very uh, dire consequences. Isn't that going to frighten people away? There, there are certainly these, uh, these um, uh, stories doing the rounds. Um, there, there is some truth in, in some of the elements. But as I said earlier, the, uh, the way of, of avoiding all of that is making sure that one has the necessary expertise to deal with a challenging market like Angola. And what about security as well? A lot of people still ask that question when you talk about doing business in Angola. I mean, the war has been over quite some time, but there are still questions raised about it. Well, a group of us went walking last night from the Tropico Hotel down into the lower city. And... Um, we, uh, we uh, felt absolutely comfortable. Uh, nobody threatened us or, or, or even looked like wanting to remove anything from us. We had a great time and we walked back to the hotel. That must have been a walk of several kilometers. Um, I would have trouble doing that in some parts of, of South Africa. And uh, finally, also one of the um, parts on the agenda that you're talking about there is about power generation. I mean, just very briefly, what are the prospects in Angola for power generation? Because it's a very big topic for the whole of Southern Africa now. Angola has several um, reasonably large hydropower projects operating, and rivers like the Kwanzaa River and several others have got opportunities for up to eight uh, very large power hydropower uh, facilities. Uh, to be built in the future. And just finally, very briefly, um, what are the prospects, you think, overall business and Angola? The outlook is excellent, provided you keep your ears and eyes open and go in um, with a degree of courage. Advice indeed from uh, Roger Ballard-Tremere from the South Africa Angola Chamber of Commerce, live to us there from Luanda.